Welcome back. <clears throat> We're the Room Junkies. Welcome back. In theory. Thank you. The best whiskey. In theory. The oh, I thought we were just gonna. Of 2021. Okay. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we're about to blind a lot of whiskeys. 18 whiskeys. I don't know if that camera will pick up how many are going over here. That have been deemed by us our favorite whiskey releases of 2021. So, real quick, our rules for this are had to be released this year. Yep. We liked it a lot. Duh, that would be, and we own it. It'd be part of the, the best. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, listen. The big stipulation that people are gonna really get hung up on is we have to own the bottle. It's not a sample we got. It's not a borrow a bottle that we borrowed to do a review. It's something that we physically own and is the in the hut. So, so don't tell me how good WLW was this year. We ain't got one. That's true. Value doesn't matter. This is the label <laughs> doesn't matter. This is literally all whiskey inside the <laughs> bottle. So expensive. It's all just like whatever's inside the glass is what we're judging it on. We have three blinds of six. We're gonna pick, we were doing a top 10 here. So yeah. we're gonna pick three from the first two and then maybe four from the last one or something. Or if Sean and I like really we'll don't agree on one, we'll pick a fourth one randomly. So you guys are about to watch us hyperlapse, actually the fastest whiskey tasting that's ever been done. You guys are about to see Guinness Book World Records give us a shout. So Editing's the only way you can get that done, you're right. So I got my three winners, Dan's got his three winners. Yep, we're good to go on that. Now, the six bottles in front of us, so you guys know, are uh, Double Barrel Peerless, Wild Turkey One, New Riff, uh, Malted Rye Six Year, Remus Five, OFBB 2021, and Sam Houston 15, and this is the Kentucky One Batch, so. What are your three that are going forward, sir? B is, B's making it. Okay. C is making it, E is making it. Tell you mine, and then we can go over okay. what they are. Sounds good. Uh, mine are very easy, C, D, and E. C, D, and E made it for you. Yep, so your B is uh, Remus 5. Your D is Remus 5. Perfect, all right, we Thank agree God. on that. Remus 5 moves forward, it's, uh, it's an undebated topic. Your C is OFBB 2021. Your E is OFBB And then your E, what do you think it is? That's this one? Yeah. I'm up with it. All right. New Rift Multi Rift. But that is Peterless Double Oak. No Or way. Double Barrel. Are you serious? Yeah, I, I don't know why I'm picking that up. What was my, my last one? New Rift. Really? Mm -hmm. Sean put the new riff over Wild Turkey One, Peerless Double, and Sam Houston 15. These yeah, ones Wild do Turkey not Wild Turkey One and Sam Houston 15 are unanimously out. Are out. Are out. Next oh. round. Six more glasses and six more bottles and more whiskey. We'll be right back. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour six more. The six that Next are round. going into this flight are Sagamore Eight-Year-Old Rye, Old Forester Barrel Strength Rye, Four Roses Limited Small Batch 2021, Old Forester 117 Angel Share specifically, Blue Run the 14 year specifically, and then Russell's 13. We have a good bottle, mind you. We know that other people have worse, way worse bottles, but yeah. we have a good one. What's going on? The ones that made it for me, A. A. B. B. E, F. Uh, C, D, E, and F. Okay, so go ahead and tell me what uh, what's A. For you? Four Roses L-E. Okay, that was C for you, so that made it for both of us. Perfect, all right, easy. B made it for you too, right? Yep. That is the Old Forester single barrel ride. Yep, it didn't make it for you. E for you was Blue Run 14. E for you was Blue Run. And the last one for you was Old Forester 114. That was your D, which made it for you. Russell's made it for me and Yep, and not, not for me. For you. Mm -hmm. So Sagamore, eight year is out. So All right, we're uh, down to the last. The final. I guess, well, last sixth flight. We haven't done the final placings or whatever, but this is the last initial flight. How about that? The final elimination round. On this one, we got uh, what is it, batch one of the Woodford Batch Proof. Stag 15, Jack Daniel Coy Hill, yep. A121, Old Elk Infinity Blend. Final batch of Woodford Batch Proof, the 119. My four, A, B, E, F. I have A, 
C, D, and F. <clears throat> my A. <laughs> Your A is stag 15. Well, you didn't pick that. Okay, my B. Old Elk. Okay, bro. My E. Guarantee we agreed on these. Yeah, I guarantee. Koi Hill. That happens to be your D. My F. Woodford Bash Proof 128. You picked that as well. Yeah, I like that one. Cool. A lot. So um, the ones you picked, obviously, are ECBP A121 and Woodford uh, 118 Proof. All right, we're going to order these and clean up the table and we'll be right back. Watch this. Ready? And we're back. All right, we're back. So I'm sure that worked out. Table's slightly cleaner than it was. That's a slightly different framing than it was. But Probably. we have a list of our favorite top 10 whiskeys of 2021. Only took four hours. We're going to go from 10 all the way down to one. Nah, we let's go from one to 10. Jeez. That way no one's here at the end. We agree on the order this time. We did. Probably first time ever, maybe last time ever. We'll see. Russell's 13. I had to fight to get this on the list. True. Dan didn't want to put it there. I didn't. He said it got a little nutty. It did get nutty. It's a Russell's product. It is. Get over it. True. Listen, the, the thing about the top 10 quickly is you have to become nitpicky about products. Oh, yeah. Because we aren't putting like eight normal yeah. eh, bottles on there and then two good ones. They're all great, right? Every whiskey we had in every blind was a great whiskey. One of the better values, if you found it for retail, unfortunately- We have some value built in on this. True, list. but unfortunately there were uh, quality issues with those. Numero nine. Number nine. Also thought to get this one on the list. What do you want to say? It made it. It's fantastic. Also 60 really bucks. Whiskey. Also 60. Really good and whiskey. And you could have bought it online and had it shipped to you. We opened this in a review and said, wow, this will be on the top 10 list. And it made year. it. And we were right. It was 60 bucks. It was on sealbox.com. It was on bourboneoutfitters.com. Yep. They did re, so the initial release of this bottle of whiskey was pretty limited. And then they re-released around October, November yep. part of the year. What that makes me look forward to is newer from the future. Yeah, so That's six years old and it's fantastic. So 10, nine, eight on the list. Yeah, I'm I counting was, down for Dan right now. I was saying eight. Stag 15. I junior batch 15. I didn't even pick it out of my lineup of high proofs. Matt Porter, ADHD whiskey, made a top 10 list. He put this a little lower than I'd say normal on list, right? As well, like we did. Now, Matt made a good point and said, it's possible that next year, if this continues the trend it's at, that this doesn't even make the next list. Oh, we're going down. Because how am I gonna see one? Yeah. And you, they really actually released three this year, which is the different. the only one we got. We didn't see 16 or 17. Nope. What would be cool is if instead of you release three batches a year, because they did this year, which yeah. is the first time I know that they've ever done it. Yeah, it's supposed to be two, I thought. No, every spring, other year, at least recent, has been two. But if they're gonna keep doing releases, maybe just do two a year and make both those releases larger if the barrels and the yields work okay. out that way. But I, they're impossible to find. It's fantastic whiskey. Dan, your favorite number? Seven. There you go. Found it. Also, probably a little bit lower than most people would think for us. This is one of the things about birthday bourbons that we learned on the live stream the other night. Birthday bourbons have one of the greatest noses they in smell whiskey. Amazing. Sometimes they just don't deliver on that nose. And a little, little flat on the back. It doesn't like, doesn't not deliver anything. Yeah. It's just it's still like good. the nose is so good. And then the flavor it is like you. pretty damn good. You it's know what I mean? It's still on so the list. It okay. Is. It still tastes good. It, it's still going to be on the list. So yeah, before we get into number six, we're gonna talk about today's sponsor. And this one's really hits really close to home for us. Hopefully you guys like it. Dan, let's talk about this. Yeah. This is one of the best products that Asian Ore personally for me has come out with. This solves a lot of problems for the people on the go. You go in places, you travel. maybe you travel a lot. You go to meetups. What they got is nice little containers here in this four pack. Containers. Containers? What do you want to call them? Sample bottles. Sample bottles? They're containers. <laughs> These are whiskey sample bottles. They're like miniature wide mouth jars. Here's the here's nice what's important cone. about these. This is the important part. They're three ounces, fully filled. They're yes. TSA compliant, so yep. you can take these on an airplane in your bag. Now the cool thing is, if you take two of these out because you're a cigar smoker, if you take two bottles out, you can actually stack them in there and put two cigars in there instead of two sample bottles. They have a fill window. This has measurements on it. Comes with this little marker here, and you can write on this side and write, "I'm bringing." Uh, a whiskey I just made up on the spot. Bro on the go right there. Joy Hill. This is a perfect like little little day adventure thing. Like if you're a golfer, I couldn't think of another way. You get two little samples in there. Thank you, Asian Art, for working with us on this 100%. project and making these realistic. Realistically, thanks for making Appreciate these because these are awesome. 
From there. Number six. Numero six. I think this is another one that I think this is we not a surprise. value through the roof when you find it. Not a SRP. surprise. Uh, Remus 5. Yeah. We are really, really big fans of this bottle. It checks all the boxes. Mm -hmm. It's 100 proof with great flavor. It's got a finish. It's got old whiskey in it. Yeah. 80 bucks. It's just MGP from MGP, and they did a really, really good job blending. Shocking. This is the best Remus I've ever had. All right. Moving to top five, Daniel. I think it's time, dude. Okay. Four Roses LE 2021. One of the most expensive bottles on the list. I'm glad you did that. We paid us. $200. It's 130 retail. I would pay 200 again. 57.1%. This year is actually one of our favorite years in Hands probably down. the past three, I'd say yeah. roughly. We were going through the list and we're like, what do we not like about this? Not a lot. Yeah. The, unfortunately, there are just four bottles that we like more. Yeah. Um, for a lot of people, I, I could see this being number one for them. All right, number four. Four. You're not even trying to do Spanish. The bluest of runs. A little set down, let down. The bluest of the runs? Of the runs relatively new brand in the past couple of years here. They are blending a fantastic product right now. I believe that that's Barton whiskey. It could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. It's 14 years old. It's 113 proof. It is proof count, so that's not cast rank. It's 180 bucks. You can get these online. You get them on Sealbox. You can find them in stores. Uh -huh. Um, I know Bourbon Outfitters actually has started carrying some of their four-year distillate that Jim Rutledge is making. Yeah, a lot of people are kind of iffy on, sure. on the brand and sure. what they're charging for it. I'm not, I love but it. But good luck finding something that is this well put together with that age statement yeah. um, for less. Listen, blending, so there's a reason that really good blenders become very popular. Mm -hmm. in, like Dixon Denman, you know what I mean? And the Carters. And like, there's a reason that those people are in the positions that they're in, 100%. They're not they're doing, doing it. Apart. Listen, Jim Rutledge knows what the hell he's doing. We all know that. None of us are confused about that. Yep. Blue Run, fantastic. Actually, let me get this one. Bottle number number three, three. A bottle that will forever live in my fucking brain because of Matt Madness. The one time Sean guessed it and then- Off the nose. Second guessed it and didn't guess Lost it. Lost the competition because of it. And he was right initially. Woodford Bash Proof, number one of the year, 128.3. Yeah, it was. Number one of the year? No, 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 number one of the batch group. There are two batch groups You said here. number one of the year. Yeah. Yeah, but in a, in a top 10 of the year list, number one of the year might be confusing. Okay, I get that. The number one bottle of the year from Woodford Reserve no, Bash Proof. No, that's not how I said From Bash Proof. They put out two batch groups this year. They did. This for it's me fantastic. was instant top three for me. So the, this, the top seven of this list, we all agreed on blind, by the way. They're not slacking on what they're doing over there at Brown Warren. We'll continue buying the batch proof Woodfords every time they Hands come out. Hands down. Without uh, we, we really, really enjoyed them. Yep. Uh, the first one we've already said was our least favorite, which opened up a lot from then. It's which we still gotten, like now. Yeah, it's actually. just gotten better and better. They're knocking out a premium product. Really. Yeah. And, and realistically, the best thing about this bottle is when it's empty, you can just club your buddy over the head <laughs> with it. You know what I mean? So this is really I will fun. say third and fourth, we went back and forth with uh, A and B in a little bit. First and second, we also did that. Second, actually surprising to us, little Jack Daniel. Uh, their limited release this year, Koi Hill. Koi Hill. When we reviewed it, yes. we said it was very hot. And we liked it, but it was- We liked it a lot. Dude, the nose was incredible. We I think it's got a little air in there. Some alcohol has come off a little bit. I hope Without so. adding water, because we added water, it wasn't great. It wasn't great with it water. It was not great with no. water. We probably watered down too much. But now, I don't know. It just, it doesn't drink 140 proof. Well, I don't know if it doesn't or does, but I do it's know that it, the hot, flavor, I, it is a flavor punch. It is a full-blown flavor UFC title fight. It's time to move to first place. Now we're second place and third place. Brown both Foreman? Brown Foreman, maybe. Yes, yes they were. Now, is first place Brown Foreman? Absolutely. <laughs> maybe it is. Because Old Forester 117 Angel Series is one of the best balls of whiskeys I've had in years. I didn't think blind it would stand up as good as it did. Because it's 110 proof. 110 proof. Yeah. We, we've got 100, I mean, realistically, 100 is our bottom on the list this year. Yeah, this was one of the lowest ones in the in the whole blinds. And, Here's the thing. Oh, when we man, blinded this, deliver. I literally went through the six and I went, that's the best whiskey I've had all day and pushed it forward. It literally does what I wish uh, the old Forester of this year, the birthday bourbon. Mm -hmm. It smells amazing and it fully delivers on what you're smelling. It does. It, it from front to back, it's well balanced. Yep. There's a bunch of flavors. It's complex. It's amazing. Unfortunately, it was a distillery only and it's a 375. 
Things get more interesting when you start to blind them and you stop caring what bottle of whiskey it is. Whiskey will surprise you. That bottle of whiskey right there, number one whiskey of the year for us. Old Forster 117. I tried to be. Angel share. Oh. We're not paid by Brown Foreman. I'm not reading comments about how we're shills. Yeah. They don't care. We I'm sorry, paid. they made good whiskey that we actually got. We love you guys. Click the link in the description below for the Definitely H&R Neat Glasses. Like, it's such a cool project that we got to work on with Agent Orr. We appreciate the hell out These of it. These are so the sample awesome. bottles are literally enough amazing. cool things about that. But thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below what you did or did not agree with. All of it. Cheers, okay. everybody.